Let's go. That's gonna be a fucking crash. <laughs> going on so we getting out of this hellhole we're gonna try weather seems stable and we just robbed the Leviticus Cornwall train we got money in our pockets the worst is behind us gentlemen so the question uh, is where now I know this country a little I told you we should set up camp in horseshoe overlook near Valentine we'll be able to hide out there no problem as long as we keep our noses clean <laughs> well then let's go Clean noses and everything else. Arthur, you're in that one. Bring Hosea. I know you two like to talk about the good old days and what's gone wrong with old Dutch. How squid? Doom, doom, doom. I didn't even get to hunt. <laughs> Get over here! Yes, boss. You two ride up ahead, make sure there's no surprises. We've had enough of those. Me? With the boy? Just go. Come on, kid. You can buy me a whiskey. Everything look all right? Well, what's going on? Ah, I broke the goddamn wheel. All right, let's get it fixed. You need help? I reckon we can handle it. All right, Charles, you and me hold the thing up while you try and put the wheel back on, Arthur. You still strong enough to hold up a <laughs> Shut up. I'm just saying. Don't say less. Pick the wheel up. <laughs> There. There. See? You ain't so useless after all. <laughs> you fucking quite. dies right there. <gasps> oh fuck. What do you think? If they want Natives. trouble, we wouldn't have seen them. Poor bastards. We really screwed them over down here. Mm. Well, let's not push our luck. What happened? Well, get in. I'll tell you. Wait, are they gonna be the enemy? It's, it's a little, you That's know. They just did what the hell was good, didn't you? Know? Follow the river, then 
You can switch between different radar sizes. So, yes. Hell yeah, I want the. The Indians in these parts got sold a very raw deal. This is the heartlands we're going to. Good farming and grazing country. They lost it all. Stolen clean away from them, it was every blade of grass. Killed or herded up to the reservations in the middle of nowhere. And how's that different from anywhere else? Well, maybe it's not. I just heard some of the army out here was particularly uh, unpleasant about it. Unpleasant? Oh, fuck. How do you rob and kill people pleasantly? We don't. In spite of that, just talk. I fear I was perhaps trying to simplify something more complicated for the benefit of our block-headed driver here. Hey, don't blame it on me. Never forget, this here's a con man, Charles, born and bred. Just because it sounds fancy don't mean he knows a damn thing about what he's talking about. God. So, what happened to your tribe? I don't even know if I have one. At least, not that I can remember. My father was a colored man. He told me he lived with our people for a while. A number of free men did. When we were forced to move from our lands, the three of us fled. Is it shown by the flushing sun? Much. My whole life I've been on the run. A couple years later, some soldiers captured my mother. Took her somewhere. Was? We never saw her again. We drifted around. He was a very sad man, and the drink had a mean hold on him. Around 13, I just took off on my own. That was about the age we found young Arthur here. Maybe a little older. A wilder delinquent you never did see. But he learned fast. Not as fast as Marston, apparently. Wait. John Marston. What's the problem between you two? Arthur? Yeah, it's a long story. Yeah. We still heading the right way. Fucking that depends. <laughs> Are we still destroying the backs of the horses and repose in virgin forests as we plan? No. Are we heading in the correct direction on our desperate escape from the law eastwards down the mountains? Yes, I believe so. You know this area? A little. I've been through a couple of times. There's a livestock town not too far from here called Valentine. Cowboys, outlaws. Working girls, our kind of place. Driscolls? Probably them too. Pinkertons? Let's hope not. And this place we're going. Wait, what's it called again? Horseshoe Overlook. It's a good place to lie low. It'll do for now. And how low do you think Dutch is really going to lie? <laughs> it's just, you know, maybe it's me who's changed, not him. But we kept telling him that fairy job didn't feel right. You and me had a real lead in Blackwater that could have worked out. Maybe. It just isn't like Dutch to lose his head like that. Things go wrong sometimes. People die. It's the way it is. Mm -hmm. Always has been. Me, you, Dutch. We've all been in this line of work a long time. And we're still here, so... I figure we must have got it right a hell of a lot more than we got it wrong. There we go. What are you working on there anyway? Just some yarrow and ginseng. Good for the health. Better than that stuff you buy in the store. Yeah, you can have all this. I'm at the point where I can do it with my eyes closed. Oh, okay. Thank you. Of course, some herbs these can be consumed to replenish your core using. There you are, brother. Head in there. Follow the track for a bit. Thanks. Oh, he's right there. Hey, slow up. I'll jump on. Oh, come on.
Uh, what the fuck? Are you not gonna get on? Just wasting my goddamn time. Yeah, he's not gonna get on. time to prosper. Arthur and I were about to prosper in Blackwater. We were onto something big. Then Micah got you all excited about that ferry and here we are. We have all made mistakes over the years, Hosea. Every last one of us. But I kept us together. Kept us alive. Kept the nooses off our neck. I guess I'm just worried. I ain't got that long, Dutch. I, I want folks safe before I go. Me too. And now we are stuck east of the Grizzlies and out of money. And a long way from our dream of virgin land in the west. I know, my brother. But we are safe. We make a bit of money here. Then we move again. Head out around them. Be west of Uncle Who Sam. Who are all these people? A few months, buy There's new people land. there. I hope so. I think. Hold on, never mind. Would you just look around you? This world has its consolations. <laughs> Gentlemen, I'm going to head into the local town and, uh, you know, see if I can strike up a little business. Of course, Herr Strauss. I prefer robbing banks to usury. Seems more dignified somehow. Now, everyone, put your tools down for a moment. Come on, gather around. Quickly now. I know that things have been tough. But we are safe now, and we are far too poor. So it is time for everyone to get to work. Get to work, but stay out of trouble. Remember, we are itinerant workers. Laid off when they shut down our factory to the north. Now get out there and see what you can find. Uncle, Reverend Swanson, no more passengers. <laughs> it is time for everyone to earn their keep. There is a town, a little way down the track, named of Valentine. Livestock town, all mud and morons, if I remember right. That seems a decent place to start. And, uh, we need food. Real food. That means every day. One of you. And remember, whatever it is that you find, the camp gets its slice. Now be sensible out there. Tony Money available to camp to agree on food and other... girls have your camp other... ready, Mr. Morgan. Come with me. You two will be ready shortly. We put you over here. I'm sure everything will be fine, Miss Grimshaw. It should be. Most of your stuff from Blackwater got saved. Everything apart from my money. Oh, don't remind me. Well, we can always make more money. We're gonna have to. Sleeve, shave, change clothes, or store shit. weapons in the weapon longer at your time. Chapter 2. Order chapters. That's cool. A couple of weeks later already. It's like they're not giving me a chance to explore. Got off the mountain. Rode east into some pretty enough country called the Heartland. We've been this far east in many a year. Dutch seems a little better. His eyes are sparkling once more, and I can see he's thinking a little clearer. I think we all feel a little happier. 
lot of black water in that whole mess. Here we go. Hi there. Jose. <laughs> He's drinking rest of my tenure. Quite a day. Let's hope so. There's a bunch of the boys already in Valentine. Bill, Charles, and Javier. And Swanson found something down at the train station by the lake, apparently. And Strauss came back with that creepy little smile on his face. I'm sure there's a whole list of unfortunates he's forced money upon. <laughs> Thank you. And you? I'm going to read a book. <laughs> Camera. Oh, who's this? Hi. Good morning. Antagonize? What's wrong? Thought you'd be happy to be off that mountain. No, oh, I don't know. You ain't been yourself for a while. Anyway, I won't disturb you. I need to be alone. Yikes. Alright, what do we got? Careful not to work yourself to death there, Uncle. I was thinking. Yeah, does it pay well? Oh, eventually. So, while the rest of us are busy stealing, killing, lying, fighting to try to survive, you get to think all day. Well, it's a strange world we live in, Arthur Morgan. Do you want to head into town? See if we can find anything out? Sure. I got some errands to run. Great. Go check the horses already. <laughs> You gonna take the old man into town? You take us too? Well, what you got planned? Nothing. We'll find something for y'all to do. We always do. We're bored out of our minds. Been cooped up here for two weeks now. Karen's about ready to murder Grimshaw. <laughs> well, can Miss Grimshaw spare you? <sighs> can Miss Grimshaw spare you? What's happened to you, Arthur? Three young, healthy women want you to take them a robin. You're worried about house chores. Let's go. I fuck Good. with that. You got me. Come on in. <laughs> I can't believe we're going to see civilization. Feels like weeks since we did. Yeah, Valentine. <laughs> Very embodiment. Okay. Civilization. <laughs> you ladies are going to love it. Okay then, let's go. All right. Out through the trees here, then take a left. Yeah. I could picture myself like investing so many hours just like setting up the camp and all that. back from over there, could you? Sure, no problem. Thanks. It's the white one over there. Oh, my God. Once claim you will be able to lead the Easy there. Yeah, there, you got it. Well done, Arthur. Okay.
the fuck is that? Here? Here you go. You're a gentleman, sir. A gentleman. Take your honor and uh... No, not really. I was just trying to impress the women. <laughs> well, anyway, thank you. All right, let's go. Come on, let's go. To Valentine. <laughs> <laughs> You're turning into a regular old fairy godmother there, Arthur. What's that supposed to mean? It means you got a heart. A small one, perhaps, hidden deep inside. Oh, man. One. And you have it, your pulse of old lizard. Lizards have hearts. Well, Arthur, I'm proud of you. To be honest, if you lot hadn't been here, I probably would have robbed him. <laughs> <laughs> well, you did. <laughs> It kind of looks like the the first one. Yeah, that's a young man's game. Ooh, yes, we can get up to some mischief here, all right. Just remember, keep a low profile. Will you remember that though? Oh, dude. Probably not. Let's park up down the end there, near the stable. Center of civilization. <laughs> Man at his finest. Uncle, what are we doing? Well, we're going to do what any self respecting maniac does put the women to work. <laughs> Pleasure. <laughs> Start of the saloon. Okay, just stay out of trouble. Don't get yourselves noticed. Right, I need to get something from the stores. Okay, well, we'll see you at the general store when you're done. Come on, ladies. Imagine we're in Paris. Come on. Imagine Paris and Valentine. So that's how you see yourself, is it? A maniac? Well, in my youth, I used to be known as the one-shot kid. <laughs> okay. I'm not gonna ask why. You are That's a pretty sad cool. man, Arthur Morgan. But I know you love me. Desperately. You're my favorite parasite. Oh. No. Ringworm's my favorite parasite. You're my second favorite parasite. Very funny. I lied. Ringworm, then rats with the plague, <laughs> then you. Shut up. This is the place now. Come on. Afternoon. So, what do you need? Hell, a drop of whiskey for a start. I don't shock it, but you're a I'm going to pass the time while we're waiting on the women. Always thinking ahead, ain't you? You're looking a bit tired there, Arthur. Why don't you pick up some coffee while we're here? Let me know if you have any questions, fellers. Whiskey's on the top shelf, nearest the door. Oh, shit. Cigars? You not getting anything, Arthur? Uh, I don't know. Maybe. Biscuits. Coffee. Hair? What? So, you're actually buying for once? Are you feeling all right? See this? Young folk have no it. respect for their elders no more. What do you reckon? A lamb or a sausage? Well, this here's a sheep town. The lamb's the best in the state. Now I know what the smell is. <laughs> well, that's a ripe cheese, all right. 
horse reviver a compass well, look at this a jaw harp what is this list of yours i got a lot to replenish after that god awful time in the mountains all done thank you kindly ah <laughs> this should do the trick yep that's fine whiskey Okay. That should do it. I'll buy Let's it. go wait for the mouth side. Can I sell stuff to you? <gasps> I can. Okay. Apply to her. Okay, I really don't need that. Stamina greatly restores dead core. Gen, so I restore stamina core. Can kidney find brandy so I restore stamina core so I restore health and okay health more stimulants ground their coffee Keep your gun condition while maintaining can sweet corn. So I uh, sell that. Slightly restores stamina and moderately restores. So it restores health and moderately restores. Okay. Why is it yellow? Uh, that's it. Oh, here's to your good health, sir. <laughs> and to being down a year off that mountain. Absolutely. It's a funny world. <laughs> this time in my career, I pictured myself being married to an heiress. Uh -oh. Gentlemen, I think I got something good. What? What? I snuck into this fancy house, acted like a servant girl. Usually works. Someone was saying her sister was taking a trip from New York or someplace. Train full of rich tourists heading to San Denis and then cruising off to Brazil. Okay. A train laden with baggage and passing through a bit of deserted country at night. As to get to the docks in time for the tides. In some place called Scarlet Meadows. Yeah, I know it. Yeah, yeah, it's right out in there New Hanover. <laughs> right, it's real quiet out there. Sounds good. Uh, Where's Tilly and Karen? Uh, I think at the hotel. They were picking up some drunken fellas that they was gonna rob. Why? It seemed easy. They have been uh -oh. for quite a while. I guess I'll go see if there's any trouble. Oh, there's Tilly over there. <gasps> at not oh, I'm finna fuck him up. Excuse me. I've been looking too long. Get your hands off her. Who are you? A friend of mine. Get the hell off of her, you son of a bitch. Hey. Hey, take it easy. There's no problem yeah. here. There will be if you don't get out of here right now. Oh. You're making a big mistake, Tilly Jackson. Just get lost. I ain't doing this with you right now. Go away with Uncle and Mary. Mary Beth, they're across the street. Okay. Thanks, Arthur. I'm going, Ana. Just control ourselves. It's fine. Uncle, look 
look after her. I will go see about Karen in the hotel. Man, let me do my stuff first. Can I help you, sir? I'm looking for a girl who came in here earlier with a drunk feather. Mid-twenties, blonde. You'd remember her. Yeah, they're in 2B upstairs. Are you, uh, a friend of his? A friend of hers. No trouble now, please. She's gonna be done. was boasting about the bank. The bank? Sure, I know small town banks are usually a waste of time, but this is a livestock town. There's lots of cash sometimes. Okay. Keep investigating. I will. I hope uh, everything's okay up there. It's after you. <laughs> Thank you, Arthur. I don't much like being saved, but when I have to be. I understand. Aww. You okay? Sure. He only punched me. Arthur punched him a lot harder. <sighs> All right, then. Hey, who's that guy over there looking at us? Weren't you in Blackwater a few weeks back? Me? No, sir. Ain't from there. Oh, you were. Well, I definitely saw you with a bunch of fellers. Me? No. Impossible. Listen, buddy, come here for a minute. I saw you. Come here. Cool. Get. Uh... I don't like this. Me neither. Go get the girls home. I'm gonna go have a word with our friend. Be careful, Arthur. Just a word. Yeah, I'm finna kill him. She's the man from... Nah, fuck that. We finna off him. Telling lies about me? No, no, I, I, I got it wrong, partner. I got it very wrong. Now please help me up. I ain't never been in Blackwater. Th then why are you chasing me? I've got an unfortunate face. Yes, yes, me too. <laughs> now please pull me up, please. Just pull me up. Come on. Man, I'm trying to get the loot. Okay, partner? No. No, I am not. I'm a mess. Well, you ain't dead. There is that. Give me Brooks. I think it's best for both of us if we pretend this never happened. Well, I agree. You saved my life. You're a good man, and I, uh, here, you want a pen? It's one of them steel ones. Oh, that's very kind of you. <laughs> but I'm not a good man, Jimmy Brooks. Not usually. You see, I was oh, a good man. shit. I kill people. And maybe I should have killed you. 
should I have killed you, Jimmy Brooks? Me? I'm never yeah, sorry. Yeah, I. No, not now, not not never. I think we have an understanding. Of course we do. Jimmy Brooks. <laughs> I will remember that. I've got a good memory. I haven't. I haven't. Not not one lick. Not what? Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. Two dollars. Bitch, bitch. Oh, actually. Oh, sure, huh? Let's go. Consume yellow tonics to fortify your bars. A fortified bar can be used for a short period while draining this. Good to see you back. Fuck you, barking at. Whoa, man. What do you got? Guns. I want the guns now. What are you doing? Come on. In the key, optional stranger mission. Oh, new marksman in town. Welcome. Now, let me just look. Can you try a shopkeeper by pressing the cutter lock in? Oh, fuck. Accessories. Oh yeah, I do have a shotgun. The sheriff's got an app for himself at one point. Good, good. Uh, repeaters. Yeah, I didn't know. Oh shit, hold up. I'm looking the trouble in town this time out. late and people are starting to talk about the curse again. Hunting knife? No, yeah, I don't need that. Is that my gun? Hmm. Barrel. Shorts. Okay. Grip. Uh, that doesn't matter. No. 
Okay. Clean weapon. Components. Rifling. Fuck. Iron signs. Hey, let's get the. Oh, fuck. Damn it. Oh, well. This is oh okay, that's fine. Sort of shotgun. Okay. No, don't okay, I don't need this. Welcome, sir. You new patient? Customers love the gum if you're in need of some energy. No getting sick if you chew too much. Take as much as you need. Sure, what you got? Okay. I really don't need any of those. Okay. That's it. got jumped in the hotel apparently it was some girl's pimp okay it's all about this all about in there. Anyone can tell this one is a pussy cat. Exactly. Yes, he's a pussy cat. Ain't that so, Arthur? Whatever you say. How much you cost, anyway? Well, ain't that a nice way to talk to a lady? Oh, I didn't know I was talking to a lady. Excuse me. <laughs> well, I must say, you got a fine way with the women, amigo. Yeah, regular dandy and a charmer. <laughs> Where's Bill? Oh, man. I dread to think about it. Hey, uh oh. Hey. There he is. Watch where you're going. Take it easy. Are you about to kiss that guy Take or punch him? Huh? Oh, oh, then we have our answer. <laughs> oh. Oh, 
almost wants it. Who do you fellows think you are? Jesus. You gotta hit my girl. That's it. We can deal with these fellers. Go get Hobby. Tough guy. You want some too, huh? Jesus. Get up, dude. Jesus. Surely that's enough. What business is it of yours? No business. <clears throat> no business, sir, but please, I beg you. Damn. Making new friends again, I see, Arthur. Look who we found sniffing about. Josiah Trelawney. The very who the fuck is this? Well, I thought you'd gone to New York. And miss all this glamour. You must be joking. How are you? Well, quite well indeed. I went to Blackwater looking for you gentlemen. You're not very popular there, it seems. Ah, Javier and Charles. I've missed you. And Bill looking as well as can be. Gentlemen, always a pleasure. You're right. We ain't too popular in Blackwater. We left a lot of money there. And young Sean, it seems. Sean, you found him? Yes, I have. He's being held by some bounty hunters, trying to see how much money the government will pay them. I know he's in Blackwater, but there's talk of them moving. Well, if we step foot in Blackwater... Uh, ah! Well, then we're dead men for sure. There'll be Pinkertons all over the place, but if he's alive, we gotta try. Yeah, of course. It's you they want, Dutch. Always is. Charles, go find out what you can, carefully. Josiah, take Javier. Arthur, go get yourself cleaned up. Join them when you're ready. But what about me? Well, exactly. What about you? What does that mean? Oh, Bill. Come on. <laughs> All right, what's this? <laughs> I'm sir, try to remember what really happened at Sylvia's saloon back in Sylvia. Who's that, Lester? Just a lot of bunk, Plato. It's just a lot of bunk. It's not bunk, Mr. Calloway, sir. It's history. Ancient history, done and dusted. The dead got off lucky, the living got to keep suffering. Same as always. But did you shoot the Newton twins? I don't 
give a pig's penis about the Newton twins. One of them was a girl, anyhow. But you had been friends back in 73. You rode the Alabaster Trail together. Funny thing about pig's penises. They're okay. curly. Like Who's your penis. friend there? <laughs> Put that in your fucking book, Fredo. This is Jim Boy Calloway. The Jim Boy Calloway. Who? The gunslinger. Fastest left-handed draw that ever drew breath. He once killed 14 men in a fight at Luzi Hollow. What are you waiting for? How do you mean? Well, I reckon right now, kill him yourself. I don't want to kill him. I want to deify him. He's a god. Okay. I'm trying to write his biography. Well, how's that going? I think I prefer the duel. Either I'd kill him and be able to be Baltimore's finest ever gunslinger, or he'd kill me and I could be set free from ever having to speak to him again. Well, you're starting to understand something very important. What's that? The joys of gunslinging. It's win-win, freedom or glory. That's brilliant. I'm going to write that down, if I may. Be my guest. <laughs> What's your name? I don't have a name. But you are a gunslinger. Not really. I mean, folks who need shooting, I try and shoot in the back. All that other stuff, it's, well, bunk. But you fought duels. Once upon a time, I may have. And you ain't interested in fame. <sighs> I don't think so. Strange. <clears throat> but you like fortune. I need money, sure. Okay. And forgive me, mister, if I seem a little desperate. I am a little desperate. This book, I've got to make a thing of it, and, well... There's a whole list of gunfighters, legends, every last one. Emmett Granger, Flacco Hernandez, Billy Midnight, Black Bell. Never heard of them. Maybe you can go and speak to them. Ask them about Cal. Any of them get uppity, shoot them. I can't believe I just said that, but... You want me to go and find some... Sad, deluded fools like him. Ask if he was the greatest, and then if they get uppity, shoot him. Does sound a lot worse than it did in my head. How much you paying? Well, a lot. Half the proceeds of the book, if you help me get it written. I'll see what I can do. Ha! Oh, get photos. Okay. And there are notes on the back of those portraits that should lead you <sighs> to them. I'll see what I can find out. I imagine we'll be stuck here upon your return. What? Here are some other flop house. Okay. Uh. I done ten minutes ago and had time to clean my boots. <laughs> oh, it's gonna happen. Look at him. Let's get out of here. Oh. Let's see. I am gloriously fuddled now. I feel so light and heavy at the same time. <laughs> Have I told you what an amazing woman you are? Oh. But you are. Let us be free and wild. And bad, my dear. Let us make love like love has never been made before. Uh, uh, let me take you to the clouds. <laughs> well, that was pathetic for all of us. What the fuck? Can I go in? I can't. Okay. Okay. Uh, let's grab one of these before we leave. Sheriff, well, look here. Maybe this is our man. 
You a bounty hunter, mister? Maybe. It depends. But well, I'm guessing you ain't here to pass the day, turn yourself in, or discuss the finer points of county law. Then I don't need to know much more than that. Until I got a reason to. All right. You smell that? This here's a livestock town, mister. Attracts delinquents and reprobates like flies. Now, I'm not a fellow to pass a quick judgment. But I've been around long enough to know you don't hire a saint to catch a sinner. You bring me what I need, and I'll pay you well, and I won't ask no questions. So, what is it you need? Why don't you have a look at that poster on the wall over there? He's a low-down huckster. He's been poisoning folks with his miracle cure from here to Ansburg. Killed more than landing rickets without even pulling a trigger. Gets some kind of... Sick satisfaction out of it. Feller over at the saloon says he thought he saw him by the gorge straight north of here. You think you can bring him in? The money's good. I need him alive, though. I want to make sure the women he witted get compensated before he swings. I'll see what I can do. Well, good luck to you. Cool. And we need him alive. That's an important point. Alive, I got it. <laughs> Jesus Christ, it's so fucking dark. Fuck, I could barely fucking see. Benedict Albright? Oh, sir? Huh. Kinda look like him. And I was told he'd be up here. No, uh, not me, sir. It's because I want to buy some medicine. And I heard, uh, I heard good things. I'll pay in gold. If you could help me find him. It's just... My mother's real sick. Oh! Well, if that's the case... <laughs> for a sick woman, I'd be happy to help. I'm a healer, yeah, you know? I... A medical man. Finest medicine in the state. <laughs> Game's over, mister. Put your hands up. Taking you in. Taking me in? What for? Apparently that stuff you're pushing is killing folk. And there's a price on your head. I don't know. It ain't my business. Oh, partner, that's crap. I'm a healer. I got an aura. 
I speak to spirits. Yeah, all right. I'm a scientist. Folks get real angry for no good reason. He's gonna jump. This, this is a mistake. Keep your hands up, buddy. They only want you for questioning. I have to insist that this is a mistake. Don't be a fool. Hold on. I'm slipping. Shit. Please. Oh. Come on, buddy. Let's make this easy. What, you're taking me in? It's just for questioning. Oh, hey, you saved my life. <sighs> Ain't we had enough drama? I, I'd be better off jumping. I, they expressly told me not to kill you. What? Oh, this is about you. <sighs> Don't jump. Oh, 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 what? You can't shoot me. Oh. Please. I'll take my chance. Come here. Uh, bye, friend. <sighs> Well, there goes my other horse. This fucking horse, dude. Keep your head above water. Pass on the back. Come here. Come here. Turn back, carry him into the shirts and drop him into an empty jail cell. You back so soon, uh, Mrs. Caldorp was uh, leaving. Yeah, where you want him? I'm selling the back. 
<laughs> Let's right here. Oh, there's been some terrible mistake. I never did it. Any of it. I thought I told you to shut up, partner. But I told but you. nothing. Shut up. And uh good luck. It's been real fun. You ain't much of a man. You ask folks for forgiveness, you remember this, partner? I've already forgotten. Now, sure, um, how much was you offering? Uh, $50. Oh, 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 oh. Here. My God. Thank you. Madam. Uh, please, remember what I told you. $50. Sure, let me get another one. 